Here we are outside Betty's Cottage in Swains Court in Topsham. Um, the alleyway down there leads to the main high street, front door of the blue door in front of us. I just want to show you the shared courtyard here where you can sit out with your coffee. That's the bench that comes with the property there. And then if I just swing you around, you'll be able to see the shared courtyard here. Lovely private, quiet residential area. And back to the front door for Betty's house. What we're going to do now is going to have a look around the property. As you come through the blue door, you first of all come to this sort of inner lobby, which is very useful. There's space there for coats on the back of that door. That door leads to the downstairs toilet, which is just in here. There we are. So it's useful to have. And then there's a separate glass door into the main reception room, which is through here. So one thing about this property, it's been done up to a very nice high standard and it's all light and very airy. So you'll see this is the main reception room with the stairs there rising to the first floor. It's got a wood burner stove in the fireplace. It's actually a gas effect one. They wouldn't know it from looking. So a nice feature. If I just swing around quietly, you can see there the, glass, the window back out to that Swain's Court. And there's the door we just came through. It's a good square room. And then just off it here to my left is the kitchen area. So we're inside the kitchen area now. Open plan obviously to the reception room, but a nice again bright kitchen. It's around about five o'clock at night now, so it's still very bright here. Uh, you've got a double eye level oven, gas hob there in front of you. Just so I swing around gently here, you'll see that the sink underneath the window. In the distance, that van going past is the main street. So you're set well back, actually, which is nice. But you do see a bit of life as well, which is, which is a nice compromise. There's a fitted dishwasher right hand side there. And here we have the fridge inbuilt. And what the owners have done, which is very clever, use mass use of space by getting in a breakfast bar here on my right with some more units. And that last cupboard, that last unit under there is a freezer built in under the work surface. So that's the kitchen area. As I say, it's open plan to reception. If I just spin back here, you'll see how they kind of link together. And what we're gonna do now is go upstairs to the first floor and see one of the bedrooms. Okay, we're at the top of the stairs now on the first floor. I'm gonna have a look at this bedroom on this floor. Both good sized doubles in this house. So this is probably the smaller of the two which is still a very good sized double bedroom. All in neutral white with cream carpets. Got a fitted wardrobe, this one in the corner there, which I'll open for you in a second. I just want to show you the size of the room first, so you get an idea of the space. And here's inside the cupboard. So this is sort of the second bedroom on the first floor of the property. View back out into the courtyard, I'll just show you that quietly. Then we are into the courtyard, Swain's Court. And then we'll go and have a look at the bathroom, which is out here on the right hand. Well, here we are at the bathroom. So we're just gonna have a quick look at this. We've got a separate bath and shower cubicle in this room. It's a good sized bathroom actually, a two bedroom home. Here's the bath, all the white sanitary ware, tiled throughout this room. We've got a wall hung sink unit there. The close couple WC tucked in the corner. See the extractor fan as well, which is great. And there's the shower cubicle. An electric shower in it. I just then bring you around slowly. I can show you that there's also this useful sort of utility cupboard here. It's a bit like a TARDIS. If I open this up, you'll see that inside here we have the washing machine and the boiler. Mounted on the wall. So it's a very useful uh, extra space like a utility cupboard, as I say. What we're going to do now is go and see the first floor, second floor bedroom. Right, we've come up this second flight of stairs now to the top floor. What we have up here is the sort of master bedroom, or certainly the larger of the two bedrooms. Right in the roof space, we're playing headroom. I'm pretty tall and I can stand up okay. You've got a dual aspect to the looking over roofs locally and two built-in wardrobes there. I'll just show you the first one there. They're sort of joined together so you'll get an idea of them. There we are, you can see the hanging rail through there. So 
So here we have the second bedroom or the master bedroom in the top floor um, in Betty's house, Swain's Court in Topsham.